Hello, my name is Joseph Vick, Manager of Museum Education here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Thank you for joining us today in a new series we call Science Never Stops. Do you find yourself at home? Do you find yourself inspired to do some science? Welcome to our table. We're here to do science in home environments. Our first one that we have for today is Shemrock Chromatography in honor of St. Patrick's Day, March 17, 2020. So the first step you need to do is find yourself a clover or a shamrock. If you happen to find one with four leaves, luck of the Irish to you. But a three-leafer will do just fine. Also, coffee filters. Also found at home, used to filter coffee, but we're gonna be filtering the leaves through them today and go to the medicine cabinet and find your handy dandy isopropyl alcohol and lastly a straw to help you remove the alcohol from the container and to do it all on top of a paper plate. First take your coffee filter, set it on top of your paper plate then with the clover that you collected, smash and mash and get all of the liquid inside. The clover is green because it is filled with a pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is important for plants because it is what they use to make sugars to eat and for their food. With the power of the sun, Chlorophyll absorbs the sun and converts the sunlight into sugar and oxygen for us to breathe. Take the clover and with lots of pressure and force, press onto your coffee filter. The darker your color, the better. If you happen to rip your coffee filter, don't worry. You're just adding more of that pigment into the filter. There we go. Once you have pressed as much of the leaf into the filter, remove the excess, set it down on the table, and you'll see you have a dark green spot on the center of your filter. Take your isopropyl or rubbing alcohol, open the lid, Take your straw and insert the straw into the isopropyl alcohol with your finger at the other end. Press and lift and you'll find that you have a small sample of isopropyl alcohol. And center it over the green and release. Make sure you cap your alcohol bottle and set aside. And then do as a scientist does, observe the experiment. You'll notice that the alcohol will be absorbed into the filter and you will start to see chromatography happening where the pigments inside of the plant start to go out and filter themselves. Now, the majority of color you saw was green, but it's up to you to see what other colors there are in the rainbow of chromatography. You may see yellows, you may see reds, you may see oranges. It's up to you to do the experiment, but chromatography is an experiment so scientists can see pigment placements and where the pigments fall based on their molecule size. It's been about five minutes since we did our experiment, but wanted to show you the results. Now, part of being a scientist is peer-reviewed work. So as a scientist at home, during this time, we want you to share your work online. So share your pictures, share your scientific setup so that we can see your science and how your science never stops. Mr. Joseph, can you explain what's on your plate? On the plate, we have the filter with in the very center, the chlorophyll that we smashed out of the clovers. And you can see 
As I trace my finger around where the alcohol spread out the pigment, you see the layers of green with a little layer of lighter green and a very hint layer of yellow. And you can see that the pigments that were heavier stayed closest to the center. And then as they got lighter and lighter, they were carried by the alcohol until it fully evaporated and they left behind their chromatography traces. Take care and remember, science never stops.